Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you a couple of things. One of them is just to show you how to put more than one graph on the same page or in the, put them side by side or whatever you want to do there. Then I'm just going to do a regular box plot and then I'm going to change the range which that just I wish they didn't call it range but that just means how many inner quartiles do you want to be away from the box when you're identifying outliers or extreme values. The default as you'll see in the regular box plot is to go one and a half that would be used to identify outliers and if you go three away that'll be extreme values using the rules that I'm using in this class. Okay so anyway the first one is just PAR pr parameters not parameters like parameters and statistics but parameters of the graph. MF row so we're going to have here concatenate which just means put things together we're going to have one row and two columns. It won't show up right away but I run it then I make my normal box plot and you can see that shows up on the left and so all of the points here are at least outliers. So now if I go to the next one you can see that the adjacent value, the last value that's neither an outlier nor an extreme value is a little bit higher. So these four values, the top four values there are extreme values and on this side those top four they're still extreme values that's why I drew this graph and put it side by side and these three points in here are maybe it's I think it looks like three to me are outliers and on the lower side so this will be Q1 minus one and a half IQRs we have an outlier that looks pretty dark so maybe two down there and then looking at the graph on the right there are no values beyond three interquartile ranges from the box or below Q1 so that's how to use R to identify extreme values and outliers.